YouTube, YouTube, y'all tune back in to the Make It Make Sense podcast, man. And before I get started, if y'all been tuning in, man, y'all already know, man, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button, man. Fuck with your boy. You know what I'm saying? But today, we got a, a situation that been going on the internet uh, for the last past weekend. Y'all been tuned in. In Phoenix, uh, I forgot the name of the little town. I think Tipton, Arizona or some shit. I don't know. But it's close to Phoenix, man. Charles and White and Plug, uh, uh, Plug Swayed to God. Or however you say his name. Because everybody got it typed different. Supposedly had a celebrity fight over the weekend, man. But due to the activities outside of the ring they allegedly said that the fight wasn't going to happen and Charleston White was disqualified pause I don't know if I'm the only one that's looking at what they showing but all that shit fake man come on man come on people we letting the Charleston White pull out this move on us First of all, him and the nigga get the wrestling in the swimming pool. All that bullshit, man. Y'all know Charles White, a police ass nigga. So if bro put hands on Charles White, first of all, he would have been called the police. Okay, if it was really something going on. So they wrestling in the pool. Boom. Second, they just so happy to meet outside of the elevator with the cameras rolling already. It's like when the plug God Sway nigga got up off the motherfucking elevator. He already hear the camera wave. I mean, he running. And Charles and White standing there waiting. So he allegedly go up to Charles and White and push him. And he hit him on top of the head. And brother like, man, he put a hold on my head. He hit me with a knife. Look at the screen, man. This is what he said he did to his head. I don't see one mark on my guy's head, man. Not one mark. Bullshit, man. If y'all agree with me, tap the like button, man. You know, we're making this shit make sense, man. It don't make sense. You know, let's go to Charles and White and the nigga at the way in. Okay, they walk up. Y'all, uh, if y'all didn't see, y'all can go look at it. I might or might not have it on the screen, but they walk up and Charles and White. You no know, smile and the nigga looking like he in his boxing little stance and dancing around. Push Charles and White. Boom. He go back. He come back. Spray mace. Let's let's mace him. Now it's other people in the room. It's other people standing right by, bro. Um, the the two white guys that were holding the belt and one had the microphone talking were standing closer than ten feet to the guy that got sprayed. Nobody coughed. Nobody ran or nothing. Even the girls behind him. Didn't move, period. If you ever been around Mace, you know if Mace gets sprayed that close to you, you gonna cough, run, it's gonna affect you in some type of way. Ain't nobody running nothing. He spraying towards the women, standing behind him, and don't nobody run. They ain't cough, they ain't say, uh, nothing. Nobody reacted like it was something like they could harm them. And everybody know, Mace will fuck you up. You ain't gotta get hit with it. You could be right by the person that got hit with it. Charles and White himself didn't even cough. Nobody. He didn't even leave the room. He just uh, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Once again, bullshit. Now Charles and White, you need your ass kicked for real. Now I ain't saying you need your ass kicked for pulling a move on the world, cause the world let you do it, homie. You old as fuck. They should have knew you weren't going to fight. And my guy clout chasing. Shit, he just trying to get his buzz up. Because I don't even know who this sucker is. He on that motherfucker. Man, I swear to God. Man, they made me. They didn't even tell me they were going to disqualify him. I just been trying to. Man, you weren't trying to do shit. Man, y'all some puss ass nigga for this shit. And man, I don't give a damn how you feel. Or your fans. Or nobody look like you feel. You feel me? Because that shit fucked up. People pay pay-per-view money to see y'all get in the ring and box. And the whole time... Y'all wasn't even going to box. Then on top of that, Charles and White get into it with TSL. Y'all don't know who that is. It's a uh, South Walk with them. So you supposed to mace them. Now you ain't nowhere near them niggas in the mall. 
you ain't know or wherever y'all was, you ain't nowhere near them. And you said you maced them how? If you maced them, that means you maced everybody in the uh in the room that were with y'all doing the way up. They were closer to each other than they were closer than you. Come on with that bullshit, man. You talking about you cut bro here with that little device? You did not hit him hard, man. I'm tired of you niggas playing, man. What is it's, it's coming, man? You know what I'm saying? They 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 tired of the knockoff shit, man. Who wants some knockoff jewelry? Man, that content is the middle of the mall content right there, man. Just yeah, let me get there. Y'all know the middle of the mall shit, the cheap shit right there, the fake ass jewelry. That's what that content is, and they getting away with it, man. And, you know, I ain't knocking nobody hustle or nothing, but I'm keeping it real and I'm making it make sense, cause it don't make sense. I'm well, I want to see the fight and thought y'all and the white was gonna get in there and box You know what I'm saying? And it comes out to be another fucking play. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section, man. Make this shit make sense.